This restaurant chain is known for its legendary endless buffet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But inspectors found more than food by the buffet at one Bay Area location. In fact, just last month, this place was shut down for rodent activity, with the inspector commenting, quote, there were too many to count. And with 130 critical violations and 160 non-critical violations over the last 14 months, it's the latest place to make my dirty dining list. Our camera discovered maggots, flies, and garbage littering the ground near the dumpster. And all this just a few feet from the back of the Golden Corral on U.S. Highway 19 in Port Ritchie. They've had rodent droppings found by inspectors even under the buffet. Wow. Oh my gosh. Henry and Daisy Peppy are regulars, so they were surprised to hear this Golden Corral was shut down in April for rodent activity. The inspector found fresh rodent droppings, too many to count, he wrote, under all the buffets, on dry food in the storage room, and all through the kitchen at the baseboards and on kitchen equipment. So we went into the restaurant to get some answers. Recently you were shut down for a rodent infestation. No, we had a hot water heater that went out. Glenn Curtis has been the manager at this location for the last year. And inspectors have been there 11 times over the past 14 months to make sure critical violations were fixed. You also had some temperature issues as well mm -hmm. um, with problems, especially with food on the buffet. Does right. that concern yeah. you as the manager? It's always concerning if we're not at the right temperature, but we're in full compliance with the health department. We take temperatures four times a day to make sure that we're in compliance. But that wasn't the case when inspectors checked on the place last month. On May 25th, inspectors found beef, plant foods, milk, and ice cream all above 41 degrees, which could make customers sick. And on May 6th, 18th, and 19th, inspectors found chicken on the buffet not hot enough, well below 135 degrees, which can also sicken patrons. So in looking at just the last year of reports, um, 130 critical violations, 160 non-critical. That's really high. Does that concern you? Oh, yeah. It'd be very concerning. That's why we take it real serious with the health departments. Whatever they find, we try to react immediately to that, whatever whatever the situation. And Curtis is confident his restaurant is now clean. We wouldn't open if we didn't yeah. think it was a safe environment. We did speak to Golden Corral's corporate office tonight. Bob McDevitt, senior vice president of franchising, said, quote, the goal of every restaurant is to get the highest inspection grades. This kind of inspection is unacceptable. To see the inspection reports of this restaurant and other dirty dining stories, head to our website, abcactionnews.com slash dining. And while you're there, check out the Behind the Kitchen Door feature on our website. You can find inspection reports on all of your favorite restaurants. You'll find perfect scores and the biggest violators. You can also tip me off on other dirty dining restaurants or places that deserve our Blue Ribbon Award by going to my Facebook page. Click on the like button to become a fan and be a part of the conversation. We'll be right back. Stay with us.